Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Christmas time and I'm so obsessed with these nails. Uh, okay. Just wanted to show you my little phone case before we start. It's from Velvet Caviar. They're so cute. I've been using them for years. They're my favorite brand of phone cases. They have matching grips for your case and they're just super cute. So I just wanted to mention you can get 10% off with code Gianna and proceeds also go to Toys for Tots. I think that's just really cool what they're doing for the holidays, so I just wanted to let you guys know. Now let's start the makeup. I'm using Hourglass's lip oil. I'm putting this all over my lips because they are so dry it's not even funny. So this little cooling metal applicator is so clutch right now. Moisturizer, I'm using the Tatcha Pore Perfecting Water Gel. We're just going to put that all over the face and a little bit on the neck area as well. And then we're going to start brows, of course. I'm using Tarte's Brow Mousse in medium brown. And I'm using the Tarte brush that comes with it, which is brilliant, if you guys didn't know that. If you do get this Brow Mousse, the brow brush comes with it. And there's, like, no brands that do that. So I'm just... Like, a full-size brush, at least. Okay? So I'm just going to fill my brows out like I normally did in, like, my last video I showed you guys. Filling out the tails and then going towards the front. I've like tried to switch up my brow routine as much as possible, but I've just been loving the way they look with this brow mousse, so I've just been on it. And it's also waterproof, if you guys didn't know. Um, this brow mousse is waterproof, so it's just freaking great. To conceal the brows, I'm using an E15 and Milk's Flex Concealer. And I'm just going to put this on the brow bone. I actually put like a lot. I don't know why I was feeling like super full coverage underneath the brows. But I'm just going to blend that out, bring it down, brighten up that area, and then just blend out with my finger so it's nice and packed in there. For eye primer, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Undercover Coconut Eye Primer. Amazing for dry eyelids. I've been using this for a couple weeks now and I really, really love it. So I'm just going to put that all over my eye. And then I'm going to use the Patrick Star MAC Oh Holy Eyes palette. How gorgeous is this palette? I'm going to be taking a JH31 from Morphe. And she's Gravy Eyeshadow, which is like a warm peach brown. And I'm just going to be putting this in the crease, going back and forth, windshield wiper motions. This is going to be our transition color. So I'm just using this big fluffy brush to just blend it in there. Then I'm going to be taking this deep eggplant color. It's called Shady Santa. And I'm taking a JH37 from Morphe and just putting this on the outer V, making circular motions going towards the inner lid. And I'm going to blend it out again with that big fluffy brush we were using before. I'm just kind of packing it in there, going back and forth, little windshield wiper motions just to kind of keep the color really in one place but packing it on that outer V so it's really nice and opaque and smoky and yeah. So I'm just going to blend that to my desire. And then we're going to take over this beautiful rust color with a JH41. And I started off dry, but then I knew I was gonna have to go into some Fix Plus. You know, soak that brush a little bit and just look at that pop of color. So beautiful, it's like this bronzy rust color and I just put that on the inner half of the lid, going to the center, and just blending out that smoky area as well, and just making sure that transitions really nicely. Gonna put some more Shady Santa in the crease. And then we're moving on to Dazzle Liner in holiday time. I was like so not sure what to do with this at first because I was gonna do a glitter liner, but then I was like, why don't I just put this on the eyeshadow? And then it turned into doing glitter liner, you know, into the crease. So I really just don't know exactly what I'm doing before I sit down. I feel like I probably say this every time, but I just kind of play and see what happens. And this was exactly what happened with this look. I literally just made that line and it was like, ooh, I like that. And I just kept going with it. So this is in their Shiny Pretty Things collection. It's not in the Patrick Star collection, but... It is in their holiday collection, so I wanted to include it. And just how gorgeous is that color and how shiny and beautiful and just, oh, I wanted to mix it into the shadow and then also use that 
as that crease liner. And it just is so fun. Super holiday vibes. You know what I'm saying? Just loved that. Moving on, I'm taking an LO6 and Shady Santa and just kind of outlining where I put the glitter and then just blending it up as well so it's not too harsh. But I kind of wanted it to be a little bit cleaner above the glitter. Moving on to mascara, I'm using NARS Climax Mascara. I've been loving this lately. Super light on the lashes, but really extends them out. Super great mascara. Using Gigi by Lashes and Gianna, we are having a holiday sale right now, 20% off. Use code HOLIDAY and you will get that discount. To apply that, I'm using the Huda Beauty Lash Glue along with her Tweezer Man collection. Tweezer. And I'm just popping those babies on. And these are just perfect if you have a crazy eyeshadow that you want to show off but you still want a lot of lash. Using Huda Beauty's Complexion Perfection Primer, I'm putting this all over my face and just really pressing it in there because this is a really great primer for dry skin, I feel like, at least my opinion. I'm using an F82 and LA Girls Pro Illuminating Foundation. I've been loving this. My shade is warm beige. I've been obsessed with this for months now just because my skin is super dry and this just gives it back that glow. So I'm just pressing and rubbing that in with this Kabuki. And we're going to use Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like I haven't used Tarte Shape Tape in a while for concealer, so I wanted to use medium and light medium honey for the inner corner. And I'm using it for my chin, my nose, underneath the cheekbones to blend it out. I'm using this cute little canary blender from Beauty Blender. I don't know if it's canary, I don't know if it's called canary, I just called it that, so just made that up. I'm just gonna blend that out, blend it underneath the cheekbones as well, just kind of contour them a little bit. And I'm just going to press that in to the under eye to make it nice and full coverage. I just love falling back in love with concealers like Shape Tape. Like, you forget how good it is. Moving on for contour, I'm using the Studio Perfecting Stick by MAC in NW45. Contouring all of the areas that need it. My nose especially, my cheekbones, my forehead. And I do a little bit underneath my chin just to make my lips look a little bigger. I'm using the Optical Blurring Brush from Urban Decay. Wow, I said that perfectly in the first shot. That's pretty amazing. So I'm just blending that out and <laughs> we're going to just kind of push the product up into the temples and into the ears and the cheeks and just kind of rub it out with my fingers. And I also like to just put a little bit more of shape tape down the nose just so it looks a little bit more blended. Finally, I'm using the Patrick Star Powder. I have been wanting to use this forever. I actually have the original one that he came out with. I just never grabbed it or I literally like it's in my pile of MAC stuff that I just haven't like gotten to yet. So I finally got to try it with this collection and holy gorgeous, it's amazing. I'm taking Baby It's Gold Outside, this mineralized skin finish that's like a bronzer and a highlighter in one. I'm using a JH04 brush. And it gave me such a beautiful glow. It was nice and bronzy. And it was just so gorgeous on the skin. It gave you that highlight. I'm so not used to using like a glowy bronzer like this. So it did give me a little texture I wasn't used to. But it looked gorgeous on the skin. And I put some on the sides of my forehead, on the jawline, on my nose. And it just really blended out beautifully. I'm going to use a JH01 brush to blend everything out. And then back to the eyes, I'm using an E20. And we're going to use Shady Santa again. And I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Love that. It makes everything connect with that lower lash line smoke. Then I'm taking Jingle Ball Bronze and putting it in the inner corner. Wasn't sure how I felt right after I put this in there. But then I used the Snow Flushed Highlighter. Holy gorgeous. Oh my god so beautiful the reflex in this the pink it's like a pink and green like i can't even explain to you the reflex in it it's so stunning i put it on my brow but i literally drenched my face in this highlighter it was so freaking gorgeous i'm just going to kind of blend out the inner corner so it's not too dramatic and then i'm just going to take away that extra patrick powder and blend all of that out 
I'm using a Huda Beauty brush to do that. I'm gonna put some more mascara on the lower lashes. For blush, I'm using Doll Face by Tarte, a beautiful pink, baby pink blush, super pretty. And then I'm going to use Snow Flushed all over my face with an M501, and how gorgeous is this? Next time I use it, I want to try it wet and see how crazy pigmented it gets because I can only imagine since this is how it is dry. Using Patrick Star's Mahogany Lip Pencil, even though Mahogany is a regular in MAC, so this is just the collection one. I'm just going to line my lips. And such a pretty color. I feel like people forget about Mahogany. It's so gorgeous. Taking Spank Me Santa, which is a gorgeous warm red brown. It's got like a little mauve tone to it. It's just super pretty. It's like a neutral red almost, I would say. It's really, really pretty. And I'm going to use Twerk for Gifts. This beautiful Dazzle Glass. Oh my god, the Dazzle Glasses that came out in this collection were so gorgeous. I didn't know which one to use, but I wanted it to kind of tie into a gold. So... I just use that and look how gorgeous the lips are. I love a freaking good pencil, lipstick, lip gloss combination. Setting with Rose Fix Plus. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I freaking love it. I hope you love it too. Subscribe if you haven't already because what are you doing if you ain't subscribed to me, girl? How are you gonna watch my videos? And just click that post notification button because that's super important. Also, let me know what you guys want to see next. I want to know what you want to see, what palettes you want me to use, what do you want to see? Comment it below. Don't forget to thumbs it up if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. I love you guys so much. Bye!